here we are, day before MBAA, at least the official stuff, and guess what? More announcements, but the interesting thing is you have scored a major, major placement on one of the biggest airframe development pro projects in Rotorcraft, the Bell 505. How did you manage that? Uh, by building a good product, actually. Yeah, we've been in touch with a number of OEMs and we're helping them understand our technology but we had the product that fit their mission. It was what they needed and wanted to have in their helicopter for all the right reasons, saving weight, better engine starting performance, durability. We were ready and they came to us and it's happening very quickly. So I understand the MD-302 is going in there as well? I believe so. Bell has become a very good customer for us. They're also using a number of our inverters, both for special missions power in the cabin, if you will, of the helicopter, but also for avionics. We provide some inverters that do both. And of course, they love our USB chargers, too. They're installing those in the helicopters as well. Todd, you've also got a number of certifications that are coming up the line. Obviously, you can't really put product in people's hands unless it's certified. Where is this all going? If you can give us a rundown of what's recently been accepted and where you go from here. The certification is the big effort. You know, there are some other products out there, but nobody except us, with some exceptions, have been able to achieve certification. And we did that by doing our homework. Again, a lot of engineering. We're really focused on OEMs. So these are products you'll see coming out in your new aircraft or your new jet that you purchase. And of course, the great thing is you really won't have to worry about it or think about it because it's just going to be there doing the job. It's going to save you money. It's going to have fewer times when you show up to go on a flight and you go to start the aircraft and it's like, ooh, ooh, you know. That's our goal is to eliminate that and just provide a really good value because we know it has to be a good value to the customer. All the way down to the G36 Bonanza on up into the DHC-8 series and so forth. That's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but we're kind of happy we own and operate a Bonanza, so we're going to put one in that aircraft. We might as well be able to use our own product, but yes, we had to do an STC. But yeah, the airline, and it's an engine start, so they've got to have good batteries. And the older technologies just require so much maintenance and a little bit less reliability depending on the situation. So the operators with those aircraft are just thrilled to death that they can use new technology, save in some cases up to 90% on maintenance. And if you think about an aircraft like the Dash 8, you know, what the maintenance bill is over 8 to 10 years, it's a big deal. So if you can save that kind of money in that area, and at the same time, they're reducing their carbon emission by hundreds of tons, three to 800 tons less carbon emission. And that's a great thing for a company to be able to do as well. So true blue power is actually kind of green. Exactly. <laughs> but it's not true green. It's true blue. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Todd, thanks so much for joining us on the eve of MBAA 2015, and keep it coming. It's great to see you, and we're glad to be here. This is our 29th year to exhibit under Mid-Continent Instrument Company, so we're glad to be here for the 29th time. Aero TV is brought to you by True Blue Power Advanced Lithium Ion Main Chip Batteries feature proprietary nanophosphate technology. They deliver three times the energy density and are more than 40% lighter than lead acid or NICAD alternatives. RTCA tested, FAA certified, available to OEMs today.